Hey, it's the Fact Freak, and I'm hoping that you guys will love this. This is the first edition of the Fact Freak versus Trolls. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, basically a few of my video replies and deep dives into trolls themselves. Uh, and after this video, I'm hoping to return with another video where I'm going to be looking at trolls without their knowledge until the next video drops. Yes, you're right. I am American, of course, and know nothing about English culture. That is why when I spoke to you and responded to your comment using a dry, sarcastic tone, it was hard to understand because of my long American family line. I'm so sorry. I'll be more clear in the future. Peace. Hey, I am the Fat Freak. And I'm going to use this angry little man to show you how you can look into trolls. Why don't go and so Slimfast is only about nine bucks a month. Get your fat ass on that. So of course Mr. Perfect here likes to body shame a lot of people online. There's multiple videos like that on his page. So let's look at this picture. What information could we get from Mr. Perfect while he's at work? There's his name badge, but it's hard to read, right? He could just write it out on a piece of paper and put it the right way around, or use a camera to sort of invert the image so you can read it. So, of course, you can do it sort of similar to this. Then we go on to Google and Facebook. And then obviously, once you find information like that, um, you can look through the content creator's output and see if it matches up. For example, there are images on Google of the workshop area inside, and it's the same that is shown in some videos. So of course, I get asked a lot about how I look into trolls and do deep dives and things like this. This is just scratching the surface with this very angry little man. However, people may believe that it is up to you to say what you want, freedom of speech, talk ill of others. If that's the case, then you should have no problem with me saying what I have here or showing what I have here. Peace, everyone. Have a great day. Or a quick reminder, I don't want this guy getting any hate from here. That's not how we do things. Peace. Catch you later. Hey, I'm sorry that the research isn't up to your standard, even though that all facts in the video were correct. The only thing that was incorrect is the way I pronounce Celtic, which isn't a fact, it's a mispronunciation. Um, dude, honestly, if you have only got to worry about this in your life right now, you know, you're doing really well. <laughs> like, there's some people with real problems in the world, and you're spending your time arguing a non-existent point on TikTok, and I'm done with you. What I will say, though, is happy 11th anniversary for you and your business, man. I'm really, you know, that's awesome. That's really cool. Focus on things that are more positive. Catch you later. Hey, thanks for your comment. Let's read it. That was actually pretty funny, man. <laughs> I wish it was actually that easy to, to be a professional goalie. It would be great, right? Nice, heavy splattering of emojis you've gone for. Um, so in all seriousness, man, body shaming on the internet isn't really a strong move when you hide behind a blank profile. Maybe you should try and be a little bit better. Be a nicer person. Honestly. You should try it out. Peace. Don't ever message me again, you fucking little slug. Hey guys, it's the Fact Freak. Now look at this comment here. All that muscle and I'd still spark you out in one dig. Now I had a look into this guy and turns out he said quite a lot of similar things to women on this app, as well as flirting with people on this app. I mean, I wonder how people would feel knowing that they responded to somebody like him. Now, of course, I didn't have a lot to go on as he shut down his account after getting a lot of people obviously looking into him.
But does that stop me digging deeper? Of course not. So it turns out that the account that he's commenting these things are is a second account possibly linked to this account here. Now, I dug into it. You see, he's got his Instagram link here. Now, that Instagram link is shut down. However, you'll notice he's got the Brummy Lad 87, which was the same as before. And he also has the username right at the top, Gavlar87. Of course, a quick Google search of that name, and you can easily find the guy's Twitter. Um, basically, and then if you look through his feed, you'll find pictures. Now, I'll refresh you what I've got to go on, which was this picture. Not a lot to go on. Not a lot to go on. However, there are images similar to this all over this guy's Twitter. So it seems like they're linked together. There might not be. Maybe this guy will see this and be like, hey, that's definitely not me. Maybe it is a troll using this guy's image. If it is... You should know that this is happening and lock your stuff down. Peace. So I was scrolling across my friend's lives tonight and uh, when I joined one and said, hey, I was immediately blocked by this guy. Now, when I re-entered the live being unblocked um, <laughs> and asked him what his problem was, he blocked me again. Uh, he went on to then say that my facts are shit uh, and not facts, a lot of rubbish. And he's sick of seeing me all over his FYP page. Now, I've got some advice for you, Owen. If you're sick of seeing me, block me. Uh, now, also, as well, when it comes to facts, if you think I'm pushing wrong facts or misinformation, please tell me exactly which ones you think are wrong, and I will show you any sort of evidence. Or, if you're right, tell you you're right. But it's literally my whole ethos is the fact freak facts. Now, I understand some facts people won't like because it doesn't support their opinion. But that's the thing about facts. Facts are not have an opinion themselves. They are unbiased. Anyway, peace. I just want to make it like abundantly clear that Owen is totally entitled to his opinion. He might just not like me. That's fine. I have no ill will towards Owen. I don't even know who the guy is, to be fair. Um, but yeah, and I won't be making any more videos on Owen it's, <laughs> unless, obviously, he will enlighten me by telling me in the comments or something like that what facts he believes is rubbish. Um, then I might obviously video respond to those to, to show any evidence that might back up the facts. Um, but yeah, yeah, just like whatever. <laughs> I just found the whole thing very... Bizarre. I did a video about a teacher who'd been beaten unconscious by her pupils and received this horrible comment. I had a look into it and oh my goodness, I'm being trolled by a dog. The dogs have got sentience, people. I mean, this is the face of a troll. He's so... You know what? Actually, I don't. So let's look at your profile. You're a tribute artist, dancer, singer, love animals, age 49 and 18, hit commas. Let's have a look. I mean, the first video on your profile is kind of... I don't even know what to make of it. Quite a groove you've got going on there. Uh, but let's check out this, this singing. Have you ever thought about messaging... Mr. TikTok official, I think you guys, uh, yeah, the collab would be phenomenal. Oh my God, she's clocked me, guys, she's clocked me. What is a cloth, cloof, cloof chaser? Oh, there's a lot of thought going on there. In the <laughs> Fucking compose myself. I don't want to point out the irony of commenting this on my video. Welcome to the Fact Freak Reacts, and I'm reacting to the comment section on the Fact Freak 4. 
So this is a comment I received on a video about Hugh Jackman and how he started a coffee company and was donating the money to charity. So someone made the stupid comment saying because he's got lots of money and I'd said, yeah, and he's chose to do something nice with it. I reckon he could have done better. Let's have a look at this guy. Honestly, guys, you're in for a treat. I mean, after looking at his profile, it's really easy to find him on Facebook. Where he posts things like this and just shows the world that he's a miserable. See you next Tuesday. But he is offering to go and help fight the Russians. And trust me, he's got the moves. I'm coming after you, bitch. Come at you, you little fucker. Hey, thanks for your comment. Uh, why won't I leave Sasha Fontaine alone? Because she mocked the death of my family pet. I hope that's not your family pet or one you've lost. How would you feel? I'm guessing you don't know her. How you doing? I went away the day and got my lips done. I thought, fuck it. I'll keep up you, you women and I'll get some juicy fake lips done. Now I've got your attention, whoever you are, that decided to randomly come on my post and call me a bully. I'm going to assume you were sent here by a Bond villain called Sasha Fontaine. Um, the reason I take the mick out of the fact that she sounds like a Bond villain is she makes her names up, she changes them all the time, uh, and that's because she's been in so much legal trouble. But you probably know all that, don't you? Oh no, no, she probably told you that was a load of rubbish, yeah? So anyway, you seem like a rather intelligent guy, so I suggest that you go onto YouTube and you search The Fact Freak. When you do that, you're going to see my videos, and if you look at Deep Dive Part 3 on the lady herself, you'll see nothing but evidence to prove that she is a bully. She is a horrible woman. She's the kind of person telling people like you, go and harass him, go and give him crap. I haven't done that. I haven't asked anybody to do that ever. You will not find any evidence of me doing that anywhere. Anyway, keep making your positive content and doing happy stuff rather than actually being a bully boy for somebody that you know very little about. Peace. And by the way, like Mission Successful, awareness of this woman has been complete. Um, I don't really want to talk about her anymore. But I'm also not going to just stand there when somebody comes onto my page and makes accusations about me, which is untrue. Um, so yeah, you want me to stop talking about it, stop coming to my page, and move on. Christ almighty. So guys, wasn't that a load of trolls making an absolute fool of themselves? Trolls, remember this. You can always be held accountable. You might think that you can't be. But you might run into somebody like me. And this has been really fun. I've recorded this and set this up on a live tonight. And I'm hoping that I'm going to look out for trolls. And the people will tell me trolls that bug them. And the next Fact Freak versus the trolls might just feature some of them. Don't forget guys, obviously if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and follow. It really helps. I understand by my algorithm that 60% of my viewers aren't even following, but you guys keep coming back. Are you crazy? <laughs> Have a great day. Peace.